The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers. Fuel for our future. We continue now with our special edition of Twyla from Jack and Jake's in New Orleans. And Kristen, when we visit New Orleans for the Louisiana Farm Bureau annual meeting every year, we like to take you to some of the most interesting places in the city. We do. And for this week's Ag Minute, Taylor Fry joins us at the location that some would argue is what made Louisiana agriculture what it is today. That's right, y'all. I'm standing right by the mighty Mississippi at the port in New Orleans. And it's here where barges and ships carry cargo to all around the world. And a lot of that cargo includes agricultural products. On the banks of this mighty river lies one of the busiest ports in the world, the Port of New Orleans. Nearly 5,000 ocean-going vessels from all over the world travel through this port every year. So how is the Port of New Orleans connected with agriculture? Well, in a lot of ways. 60% of the nation's grain is shipped through the Port of New Orleans annually. It's also the largest poultry exporter in the United States. More than 300,000 tons of poultry products go through the Port of New Orleans each year. And we can't forget about coffee. The Port of New Orleans is the nation's premier coffee handling port with 14 warehouses for storing coffee. For hundreds of years, this port has served not only the state of Louisiana, but also the entire world and helped make agriculture what it is today. The Port of New Orleans provides more than 160,000 jobs for Louisianians every year. Now moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia. Last week I asked you, how much butter fat does whole milk contain? And the correct answer is A, 3.25%. This week's question is, what year did Jean-Baptiste Lemoyne establish New Orleans along the Mississippi River? Was it A, 1718, B, 1728, or C, 1730? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia Contest, just log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer on our website at twilatv.org. And by the way, guys, I'm standing on the world's longest wharf. It's more than two miles long. Back to you guys. Yeah, when you have that many ships coming along, you need a big wharf. Thank you very much, Taylor Fry.